security guys. Uh, we have a problem. Um, out here checking cows this morning. Well, it's now afternoon. And I found this cow right over here, number 182. We're going to see if we can catch up to her. But it looks like she might have a breech calf going on. We got to bring her in. Alrighty guys, uh, this is not really how I expected to wrap up the 30 and 30. This is the last video of our uh, 30 and 30 throughout the month of April, a 24 hour live stream on the way starting tomorrow. But uh, right now we are heading back out towards that cow with a breech calf is what it looks like we have going on. I was hoping to wrap up the 30 and 30 with uh, some nice stats about how many people have watched and how many hours of watch time and our most popular videos and some bloopers and all that kind of good stuff. Not sure if that's going to happen. I might be able to squeeze some of that in on the end here. We'll see how well uh, this whole thing goes down. Um, we're heading back out to number 182. She's out here. Looks like she's having a breech calf. We're going to swing in behind her. She's now laying down. Um, and uh, it doesn't really look like she's working too hard at this whole process. So we're going to kind of try to come in behind her and see if we can help her at all in the field. All right, here she is right here. She's going to is she going to stay down? That's kind of an iffy thing for us. I didn't bring any gloves, so oh, she's going to get up. All right, so if you see those, those hooves on the back, they're backwards. She's got a breech calf. We're going to move her towards the corrals and home where we can get her in a chute and uh, hopefully be able to help her out here. So let's, uh, let's get her moving in that direction. Come on, girly. You got to turn around. You got to go home. Got to go home. Come on. Luckily, we're not too far from the corrals. So the hope is we can get her in and, and get her taken care of and get that calf out for her. But we've got to walk her the half a mile or so home. Now we don't want to run her. Uh, that could cause more damage than, than we're willing to sustain at this point. Um, we have no way of knowing if the calf is alive. The hope is always that it is. Um, breech calves are relatively rare. We probably have uh, we maybe one, maybe one a year uh, that we have to deal with. Um, it's been a while. We had one last year, but before that, uh, it has been a while since we've had a breech calf and had to deal with that. So we're going to keep on moving her slowly towards home. And once we get there, I think I'll give Erin a call and see if she can come out and give us a hand uh, with getting this calf out of her. Come on, Mom. Don't get me stuck either. I'm going to be annoyed if you get me stuck. I know it's not the most appetizing view for me either. Uh, <laughs> we have experience with breech calves, obviously. Um, we've been through this before. Goliath last year was a breech calf. And what we learned from him was that moms that go through this, uh, it's, it's not fun, it's horrible. And the biggest problem we've had over the years and every single breech birth that we've had to deal with is trying to get the mom to take the calf. It's hard. Uh, moms just don't 
they're just, you know, I, I think they go through so much having the calf that when it's time to actually take the calf, uh, if the calf is born alive, um, that uh, there's just there's just problems there, and, and there's, I don't know if it's trust issues or what it is, but the mom just really doesn't want much to do with that calf. Uh, so usually uh, these breech calves end up becoming bottle calves. The big trick is that we want to make sure that the calf uh, gets colostrum. And I think we missed that last year with Goliath, which caused a lot of his problems. Uh, and eventually he passed away from uh, some of his gastrointestinal issues. So uh, this one, if this one is alive, we want to make sure that we get colostrum from mom. That means milking a black Angus cow, which is no fun whatsoever. Uh, if we can't get the, the calf to, to to bond with mom and, and take over. So we finally hit uh, Highway 1, which is uh, the main road right into the corrals. If we can keep her on this track, we should be good to go. We're moving slow, but at, in this instance, like I said, slow is better. Um, too much movement, too much jostling around, we could actually lose the calf if it is alive. It's very hard to tell if it is. We won't know until we get that calf out. So we're heading towards the corrals, slowly but surely. Why is there a pig out? Come on, Mama. Go that way. Go up there. Come on. Come on. Move your butt. Come on, Mom. Come on, Mom. Turn around. Go. Come on. Go up there. Can you toss me one of those rattle paddles that's laying over there? Come on. I know. This sucks. Come on. No. Turn the corner. Come on. Come on, Mom. Come on. There you go. Good girl. Coming around. Are you on the head gate? Yes, I got, it. got her. You got her? Okay. Isn't this the cow last night? They were like 182 never needs anything. Yeah, I think you actually, I think Kenzie actually said that. <laughs> the biggest pain in the butt. Oh, 
Okie dokie. I might end up needing the ratchet. It's in the it's in the barn next to the other chute, I think. Last one we used it on was Goliath. Did we use it on Goliath? Mm-hmm. That's how we got him out, remember? Yep. Yeah. Well, let's see what we got here first. You need to stay standing up. I know it hurts. Let's see if we can get it out, but I kind of doubt it. And I think it's, I don't know. I'm gonna need this door open up behind me too. So I can get some room to move. Stuck, stuck, stuck. Come on, Mama, I need your help. A little bit of help from you would be nice. There you go. I know it hurts. Come on, Mama. You gotta be able to push with her and feel it. Oh, it's alive. Oh, it's alive. Yeah. Here, just throw that down. Get rid of it. We gotta get her out, Mike. I know, I'm working on it. You go here. Okay. Um, ready? Yeah. Okay, let her out. But don't let her all the way out because we wanna if something happens, I want to be able to get milk from her. Okay. All right, Mama. Oh, look at you, guy. What are you? Hey, the boy, of hey, course. Mama. Boys are always problems. You gonna be okay? I don't know. He's pretty he's tired. Sure. All right. Let's, um, how do you want to get him over there? We need the sled. Go grab this. Well, okay. I'll go get the sled. I got it. I got it. It's cool. There's a pig out. Hey, kiddo. There it is. He's trying to get back in. No. It should be okay. There you go, buddy. Let's get 
you in to your mama for a few. Yeah, he's having a Here she comes. Come on. Get over to that calf. Get to your calf. Get in there. There you go. We'll leave, we'll leave them alone for a little bit and we'll go put a pig in. With us. It's always funny when you have to put in a pig. Take care of that baby. Where's your piggy? Glad I opened the gate for you. Oh, you don't want to crawl through the hole? Go. Go, fatty. Go get a drink. Go get a drink. That's definitely not how I saw my day going. Hopefully she takes that calf though. That's kind of, that's why I wanted to get it close to the, the chute there. If I had to grab it, I could yeah. without her trying to kill me. Look at that little baby trying to stand up. I don't even have my cowboy hat on. I just came out in a ball cap to check cows. And <laughs> this is where we end up. Oh man, this is actually a perfect example of uh, why sometimes we just act, we do. We don't really try to put too much thought into it. We know we have to get mom in. We get her in and she can have her calf, a live calf at that. What a great way to end the 30 and 30. Guys, this is awesome. And uh, this whole month has been amazing. Uh, not only for me and Aaron, but uh, for Jeff and Loretta who are here with us on the ranch and helping us out and everybody involved. Uh, people that I managed to get the video to before it went out to you guys every single day, Matt and Tammy and Jake, along with Will in New Jersey. They got a little sneak preview, but really what they were doing was watching the video and make sure that uh, while I was half asleep in the middle of the night editing it, um, that it came out correct for you guys. So thank you to them as well for uh, kind of being our little uh, copy readers or proof proof readers or whatever you want to call it, proof viewers, I guess they would be. Thank you guys for, for helping me out there. I promised you a few stats uh, as, we, uh, as we wrap things up here. And uh, we do have some behind the scenes and some blooper stuff on the way, so make sure you stick around for that. But I've got my notes here to, so I can keep, keep track of what I'm talking about. Uh, over the last month, uh, our Wyoming Life, the 30 and 30, has had 1.1 million views. Over 300,000 unique viewers. That's amazing to me. I wish everybody subscribed, but that's okay. Only about 50% of our, of our viewers subscribe. Uh, over that time, we had 200,000 hours of watch time. That's almost 23 years of continuous watching. In fact, you could watch Titanic 57, the movie Titanic, 57,000 times. Also, um, got some more stuff here. Our most popular video, unless this one overtakes it, uh, was the, uh, the wet snow brings a hard day to calving. That was only 10 days ago, if you can believe that. 10 days ago, uh, we were in a blizzard and having calves left and right and, and trying to deal with that. Uh, the most commented video, of course, was Cole's video where we actually gave him his name. We had uh, well over 1,500 um, submissions for names. For, for Cole. You gonna get up, kiddo? Oh, you're almost there. Keep trying, we'll get you there. <laughs> We've also had viewers from all over the world. In fact, uh, some of the fastest growing countries on our Wyoming life, as far as subscribers go, Australia, the Netherlands, Ireland, and get this, Barbados. Guys, <laughs> no banana hammocks on our Wyoming life. Also, during the last month, um, I have recorded one terabyte of footage, or about 150 hours of video. That was whittled down to 12 hours of video that actually made it out to you guys over the last month, which means that there's tons of stuff that you guys didn't even get to see. And uh, that's what I'm gonna share with you right now. Enjoy. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. 
A beautiful day for a neighbor. How you doing? You feel okay? Yeah. Probably shouldn't put my gloves near your mouth. Oh, yeah, I know. It's the same way I feel about it, kid. You're okay. When all the cows look at you like, hey, uh, you forgot the food. I'll bring food. crashed into us you're stuck hold on let me see if I can back away without running you over You know, I gotta say, that is something pretty dang special. Healthy mom, beautiful calf, and everybody doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing, including us, taking care of every single cow here on the ranch. Guys, this is it, the end of the 30 and 30. And there's one person that I forgot to thank, and that's you, for sticking with us, for subscribing make sure you subscribe lots of people don't subscribe and follow along as we continue to explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary 
it's a great life to have and it's a great one to to share with you guys also stick around we still have more on the way if you subscribe hit the little bell so you get the notifications because the 24-hour live stream is just around the corner starts at 7 a.m tomorrow morning we will be live here on the ranch for 24 hours straight we have projects planned we have ways for you to vote and decide what we're gonna do different teams games going on interviews with folks around the ranch it's gonna be a ton of fun and i can't wait to start at 7 a.m tomorrow morning you better be here report get ready for work because it's all coming up so guys that's it the end of the 30 and 30 and the beginning of a life that wouldn't be here if it weren't for us. Thanks guys, take it easy. I'll see you tomorrow morning right here on our Wyoming Life.